Good morning, world. This is Ivan Homera. This is going to be a very interesting video. In this series, obviously, I hope you guys enjoyed my video I made yesterday. Obviously, only got to wait four days until my check, which isn't that bad. I cut it down to four days instead of six because I got I was able to make money for myself for the past like four days past four days I was able to get smokes for myself <laughs> I was lucky converted my cans into money I made like ten dollars had enough to get smokes and I made thirty dollars cleaning the whole house in my room and I was able to get beer and smokes for one day and smokes yesterday and I have some smokes for today a couple left with the six left wait four days for my check and I'm never doing this again I learned my lesson I'm gonna make sure I have enough money to the end of the month for to get a pack of smokes I'm never gonna make this mistake again I learned my lesson twice. <laughs> yeah. I was just stupid this month. Hence why I'm very generous to the Lord of the Rings uh, crewman for Zanus, as well as the Matrix or Grayscape because I know the feeling of not having any money. There's nothing worse, trust me, there's nothing worse than me, VJ. We make, I don't know, we make billions off the movie, obviously. Actors get the millions. Peter Jackson signed his, wow, his huge contract. You know what I'm saying? And the head chefs... Eric Chong, if he's hired, he gets his 400K and these crewmen make 30K. No. Make sure they're well taken care of. Pay them a good salary. But don't let them rip you off. They asked for 200, 300K on my guys. I'm not going to pay to that. You're fucking crazy. 150K is good enough. This money is enough to last you for a good year, year and a half of your life. Feed your family for a year, year and a half. You don't even have to work with the money that I'm saying. This you, once you got your $100,000, your $150,000 check, and you go to Hollywood and you make your 40K, you're, you're doing pretty good for yourself. Sarah, you're doing pretty good for yourself. But in Hollywood, they're they're all gonna beg because they know in Hollywood they're not gonna make that kind of money. Hollywood's gonna pay them like forty k, thirty five k for a movie because they can't afford to pay them one fifty k. And so I'm gonna keep saying it's Hollywood. If you can't afford to pay them a good salary, the least you can do is feed them with luxurious buffet. Don't feed them shitty food. Even if you give them a buffet, sometimes don't feed them shitty like spaghetti, meatballs, and all that stuff. And pasta and then beef. No, serve them like a luxury buffet with like all you can eat thin crust pizza. Yes, yeah, I had these nice barbecue wings. These amazing wings. Yeah, imagine like having all you can eat like barbecue wings. I'm gonna have two options of wings. You have the barbecue ones and you have the sweet and sour wings. For the buffet, same thing for the ribs. You have sweet and sour ribs, boneless ribs, and you have barbecue ribs. Have that with your rice, your fried rice and teriyaki meats, and your nice salad. You have your hamburger slice with your potato. You have your pizza with your ribs, with your wings. Yeah, it's a good option with your salad. Yeah. Thin crust, nice pizza, nice pork, teriyaki meats. I'm going to have pork, teriyaki meats, chicken, and beef. So you have those You have those options. You have like eight options of beef. You have the salty ones. You have the spicy ones. You have the sweet ones. You know what I'm saying? You have like eight options of meats. Yeah. You have like six options of, of, of meats. You have, um, or eight, eight or nine options of meats, right? You have salty pork, salty chicken, salty beef, spicy pork, spicy chicken, spicy beef, Sw uh, sweet beef, sweet pork, sweet chicken. So you have like nine options of beef. Yeah, I think like that. There. Yeah, hence why you feed your crewmen and actors with luxury buffet. That way, they're well taken care of and they work harder for you. So, if you feed all your Zane's actors all that that kind of food, and you, you feed the majors actors a luxury buffet, I yeah, my my buffet will remain the same for all my movies. I might make a few different changes. I might add maybe a bit more food, but like. It's, it's going to be the same buffet, obviously. But I'm renting it from a different farm, obviously. So if I film The Matrix in Australia, I'll be, I'll be calling farms in Australia. For, for Zayn's, I'm going to call the farms in Switzerland to buy all the food, obviously, with Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson. So, Sarah? Yeah. So for today, I will talk about Zayn's. 
I don't fully talk about the Matrix today. I'll talk about Zanus. At the end of the day, Zanus, I am guaranteed going to make. It's based off my amazing, infamous fantasy novel. Whereas the Matrix is not guaranteed I'm going to make that. I might just make the greatest game for Keanu Reeves and all them. There. My Zanus game, I will turn into a game too. But I'm not going to release three games like they did for Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers. No, I'm going to release one game. And they, 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 they tell the whole story. Make a good, like, 25-hour game and tell the whole story. Okay, Ivan, yeah, let, let, like uh, like Path of Neo. Path of Neo, they tell the whole story for the three movies. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. How about you don't keep the fans waiting? Make a good 25, 30-hour game for the, for the Zanes. I'm going to tell Epic Games that when I hire them to make my Zanes game, obviously. Like you're saying, if you think Lord of the Rings, guys, Way of Kings, you know what I'm saying? Malzin, Malzin, obviously the Malzin series, Wheel of Time, you know, I'm saying Harry Potter. You think those books are good, man? Zanus is a better book than all those books. You know how I know? I read Lord of the Rings, and Lord of the Rings is known for being better than all those other books. Most people like it better, and I, I read my book. I'm like, yeah, my book is more interesting. Lord of the Rings, but Lord of the Rings has better what? Lord of the Rings has better, uh, Lord of the Rings has better what? Lord of the Rings has better, uh, war building and better rich in speech, richer speech. But Zayans has a richer story, hence why I like, that's why he's, you know, Zayans is better than Lord of the Rings. In my opinion, there's some fans out there on Lord of the Rings Red who might like Lord of the Rings better than my book, obviously. I highly doubt, though, because Lord of the Rings is, is a little dry and boring, to be honest. It's a masterpiece, but it's very, like, dry, it's a little dry, it's actually a little boring. Tolkien was criticized for his dry writing. Tolkien was criticized for his dry writing. Really, Ivan? Yes. He was criticized for his dry writing. Hence why what? Yeah, whereas my book will not be criticized for being dry. My my, my book, will, the only, Ivan, what, well, your, my criticism for my book will be it's a little raw in some sections. It's, 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 it's I, cause I did not, I don't, I don't have a professional editor to edit my book, but I told you, I don't want anyone touching my book because I'm scared if, if I have an, a, a, a professional editor touch my story, they might ruin my story. Hence why I prefer to keep it, keep it 100% me. And because I have no professional editor, some sections, I don't know, 5% of my book is a little raw in some sections, obviously, but most of it is top notch quality writing. It's an amazing book, man. I'm going to give you a heads up. There's some sections of the book that are a little raw, obviously, but that doesn't, that doesn't dispute the fact that it's a masterpiece. It's still a masterpiece. It's like Lord of the Rings, even though it's a masterpiece, it's a little dry and boring in some sections. It's like, even though my book is a masterpiece, some sections are a little raw. Peter Jackson tell me, yeah, I mean, we, we shouldn't add this in your, in your, in your movie. This section is a little raw. You can change, change a few things in, in, in the movie to make it more interesting, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I have just saying yes. Good like ten minutes here. I'm gonna get a coffee myself. Yeah. I mean, is your book really that good, man? Yes, man. It's a masterpiece. I went over my book yesterday. I'm almost done, guys. I'm pushing two eighty pages, and by the end of the year, I'll be a good three. I don't know, three forty pages into my book. I only have like a hundred pages left by like next like March. I'll be done my book, man. Next year in March, I'll be done my book. So it took me one more than a year and like, it'll take me, it took me a good year and two months to edit my whole book. Cause I've been slacking off a lot, obviously over the, over the year, but next year in like March, I'll be done editing my book. And then all I have to do is go over it again for titles. The sentence structures are not all edited. Go over it again for grab for, for, for maybe gram, grammar errors and typos over it another time and after I go over another time will be towards the end of the year get it get it formatted I'll get it formatted obviously I'll pay for that get it formatted get it copyrighted and after that my book is now ready to be read. and I might hire someone to design a map for me because my map my map is pretty nice but I want I want it to look a bit more professional that's why I might hire someone to do my map for me I'll hire a freelancer to design a nice map for me for my book Get it formatted for print and ebook, and what? My book is copyrighted. It's already copyrighted, but the, my step parents are trying to delay it. They're crazy. We want it officially copyrighted. I have an okay, fine. I'll get it copyrighted. And once I get it copyrighted, my book is now ready to release on Lulu. 
And it's 2024 around there. I don't know, mid 2024 around there will be the time they will be sitting upstairs. And I will you be excited? I'll be excited and scared at the same time. Excited in the sense that I know once I pay this fee, I'm going to make my billions. I'm going to be king, and my wife with me, obviously. You know, I told you, I'm, there's a part of me that's very scared to be with VJ. Because VJ, v, the mess happened in, in my life since there. You guys caused the mess in my life, obviously. Yeah, VJ was stupid, and she let all these men. Even though I'll never know what happened with all these men, I'm not stupid. I know the mess happened, VJ. You can cover it all you want. I'm not stupid. I hear the morning sounds every week, and I always see you bragging on Twitter. Oh, last night was fun and all that stuff, and she has, like, love signs. This girl's fucking crazy. Yeah, man. She brags about fucking all these men, yeah, because VJ doesn't care about, about my well-being. She doesn't care about mental health. You know what I'm saying? And then yesterday, I went to bed. I heard the crying. I passed out, obviously, and I woke up at, like, 9.30 today. I slept for a good eight and a half hours. You know what I'm saying? I went to bed at 1.00. And I, I wake up at fucking 8 o'clock, I still heard Ouija cry. I'm like, yeah, this girl does not care about my well-being. She doesn't care about me at all. She only cares about herself. Hence why, yeah, VJ's actions show that she doesn't care about me at all. Yeah, she doesn't care about me at all. Hence why, yeah, I don't care if Ivan has to die. I, I want to see the light. I don't care about the mess. I'm going to keep fucking all these men. I will never know. Yeah, I'll never know. But being with you comes at a price because we just doesn't care, obviously. Same time, I'm going to destruct and sleep. Obviously, I don't care if Ivan can't sleep. I'm going to cry every tear swim because she's crazy and she's desperate. Obviously, and she just she doesn't care. She doesn't see the price that I have to pay to be with her. Obviously, as every night when I when I go to bed with VJ, it's, 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 it's going to be a nightmare, man. Because VJ can read my mind. I'm going to guarantee they're going to be thinking about the mess all the time. And VJ will be like, oh my god, like, and it's falling in my mind. Oh man, maybe it was a maybe I was better off running off. And just being on my own instead of dealing with this fucked up mess in my life. Yeah. Because you guys are wicked people, obviously. That's why you're not going to be saved when I'm king. You're going to be left behind. You're not going to be saved. I'm going to keep saying that. You're not going to be saved. You're going to be left behind. Is there? Yeah. But just like me being with VJ comes at a price, obviously... Being left behind is also a horrific price to pay, too, guys. It's a horrific price to pay. It's a horrific price to pay, hence why what? You guys are going to cry tears. Just like I cry tears about the mess, VG will cry tears about the mess. You're also going to cry tears, too. When I'm king, you're going to feel like total shit. Because you're banished from the glory of God. You're not saved. I'm sorry? You're banished from the glory of God. You're not saved. My step family are going to cry. All the people knew in my life are all going to feel like shit or they're going to cry, obviously. Oh, man, look at Ivan now. Ivan's a billionaire, man. He wrote his own. He pulled it off. He wrote his own amazing book. Fuck, he wrote a masterpiece. Yeah, my book is so good that, like, all all the teachers who taught me English and my, all my teachers in my life, obviously, when I read my book, they're going to be like, holy shit, Ivan wrote this on his own with no help? Yeah, no help. I wrote it on my own with no help, obviously. He pulled it off. He wrote this book. This book is even better than all these fantasy novels like Lord of the Rings and Way of Kings. Yeah, man. Better than all these books. I'm going to be shocked. Holy shit. And all the future generation kids who go to Darcy, I don't know, in 2026, all the, all the great 10, grade 11 students are like, yo, Ivan came here. Yeah, Ivan came here when you were just about born. Because all those guys in, in a good like 20, 20, 2006, 2026 around there, all those people who are now who are now in grade ten, grade eleven, were all all were all born when I when I when I went to Darcy in like two thousand seven. They're all like seventeen, sixteen now. They're like Ivan. They're like they're, 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 they're gonna be like oh, they're, 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 Ivan wrote. Ivan went to Darcy. Yeah, Ivan came here like sixteen, seventeen years ago. He was a horrible student. He was a horrible student, and he wrote a book like this that none of us can write. Like all us English students are fucking all these smart English students who get their seventies, eighties. And nineties are fucking smart, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, all I trust me. A lot of English students, they all try to write novels, but they can't accomplish it because it's, it's very, very. A lot of the smart students in school, obviously, a lot of them try to probably try to write novels, but they can't do it because they're not born. They don't have the gift like me, obviously. They're, they have the intelligence to pen down beautiful literature, beautiful English, obviously, but they, which, which nobody cares about, obviously, but they don't have that the gift, the creative gift to pen down an amazing story. And if they and if they do write a novel, chances are it's a boring novel. It's, it's a novel that bores you to death. 
it's a boring like like beautiful issue but then the, the story the, the, has, the story has pacing issues character problems character contradictions the story is very boring because they don't have the gift like me to tell a good story obviously because i was born with a gift as i have my four movies planned guys I have my four movies planned. I have an idea for my four movies. I have an idea for the Matrix franchise. I'm very, I, have, I even have an idea for the Star Wars sequels. I'm fucking gifted. I know how to tell a good story. I'm there. And I'm born with a gift. I have all these pictures in my mind. I just write, 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 and even, I, I come up with an amazing story. The story folds perfectly. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, you're saying you'll be stuck. Of course I'll be stuck. I'll be stuck whenever I write... Whenever I write the Great Escape script or the Matrix script, in some sections, sometimes I'll be sh I'll be stuck. Hence, why you need to plan it out with VJ, plan it all out with your wife. That way, you're not lost. For 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 for, this. for the Zayn script, I will not be that stuck because I have a foundation. I have me me be, me Peter Jackson, and and, and Ormel Gibson and, and 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 the two script developers. We have a foundation. We have the book. Hence, why Lord of the Rings was probably not that difficult of a script to write for Peter. Because he had the book as a foundation to go to, 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 to go over. All he had to do was constantly go over a lot of chapters, and they were able to write write write, write scenes. It wasn't. It was. It was obviously a little difficult, obviously, but, but Peter Jackson had a foundation. He had Lord of the Rings books to 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 to, to, to go back to whenever he wrote the script. Just like for Zayn's, I we I'll have the book right next to me. We go over each scene carefully, and we go over all the notes that me and Michi took, and we write we write the script. Yeah, the Zayn script will be the easiest script for me to write, obviously. Right? Because I have the I have the yeah, I have, you have the, I have I have my book as a foundation to to, 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 to go on. But it's still it'll still be a little difficult to write, obviously. I even what script will be the most fun to write? I don't know. Probably the Zayn script, to be honest. The major script will be amazing to write, obviously. But the majors is more complicated than the than, than Zanus to write. The majors is more complicated than Zanus to write, some Zayn. Because because you have you know, the Zanus will be I'll have the most I'll most likely have the most fun with Zanus because Zanus is based off my novel and Eretat and all of our devils, and so it's going to be fun do, you know, working on the Zanus project, and then second will be probably the Matrix or the Great Escape. If I do the Great Escape with Keanu Reeves, not Tim Zanner. In a good like three minutes, I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee. Yeah. Yeah, all those kids in the future, all the future generation kids in Darcy are all going to be shocked. Holy shit. You know, I even wrote this book. I'm like, you know, holy shit, this is a, this is the best fantasy history I've ever read in my life. I even like it better than Lord of the Rings and like Way of Kings and, 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 and the people who are booking this, right? I even like it better than Lord of the Rings and Way of Kings and, 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 and what? And, 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 and Malz and, and Will of Time and Harry Potter. Yeah. And Game of Thrones, I like it better than all those books. Yes, even though all those books are masterpieces, they're not as good as my book. My book is a literary math, a literary masterpiece. That's why Peter Jackson will want to get his hands on my story so bad. Oh, I, I want to get my hands on that story so bad, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're going to see how hard Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson are going to fight for that job. But something tells me I'll end up choosing Peter Jackson, to be honest, because he's a fancy guy. But I might choose Mel Gibson, you never know. Mel Gibson and Peter Jackson may know who, who's hired. They can see the future. Yeah. You're looking at a masterpiece, man, that I wrote, man. The reason why it's such a masterpiece is because it's a very unique story. There's no story like, like Zanus, man. Zanus is a very, very unique story. It is a very, very unique story. There is no story like it. It would even beat out the Matrix story. The Matrix story was amazing, but it's not as good as Zanus, man. Zanus is a masterpiece. You know, and I also have an idea for this song, I'm saying. Well, shout to him, shout to him, Lord, shout to him, shout to him, Lord, I don't know here, not here. No, well, shout to him, shout to him, Lord. So, you know, like a beautiful song like that, yeah. That song is not as good as he is the one, yeah. you are the one, yeah. he is the one, yeah. You are the one. He is the one born inside here. He is the one born inside here. He is the one born inside. That's an amazing song, I'm saying. Yeah. You look at an amazing, uh, amazing book, man.
an amazing book. My two top cans for directors are Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. Peter Jackson's young. He's only 60 years old. So he's 60, 61 years old. So by the time I hire him, he'll be like 66. So he's just too young. By the time he directs a movie, he'll be about 70, 69. Seven years old, you're still fine. But you'll see Peter struggling a little bit with the work compared to what he did like 30 years ago because he was much younger when he did Lord of the Rings. He'll be fine. He'll be fine, obviously. If you want him to work really hard, you got to pay him a rich salary. Pay him a nice, like, $85 million contract. $65 million during production. That way he works. He gets his nice, I don't know, $2 million by weekly check. That way he works hard. He works really hard. He's getting his nice multi million check. He'll work hard. Feed him with a buffet. That way he works hard for you, obviously. And he'll work double harder for me because I paid him more money than what even Warner Bros. paid him for. I mean, oh, I have no worry, but I work double harder for you. I work triple harder for you. You know what I'm saying? You pay me way more money. You gave my freedom. You spoiled me. You gave me a better purse. Fuck Hollywood, Ivan. You might tell me that. <laughs> yeah. He's asking me, oh, Ivan, don't worry about it, man. Fuck Hollywood. Hollywood's dirty as fuck, man. I, I was a dirty fucking thief. I had to go in the, 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 I had to go in the chair and fucking do it. The room smelled like fucking ass. <laughs> yeah. I got burned. You know what I'm saying? Because Peter made like his $250 million, he obviously paid a perfect price, man. He smashed a lot of people, man. <laughs> a lot of people while he was filming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he still worked hard. He only made like ten million dollars. I heard for 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 for, for, for the contract of the movie. You know what I'm saying? He negotiated for like eight percent of the grosses and something like that. He made like two fifty million dollars. He signed a massive contract, obviously. While his other ring, while his other rings actors got peanuts, obviously. And that's how you know Peter Jackson's a greedy animal. He took all the two fifty million for himself, and everyone else got shit. They got except for Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen got a thirty million dollars. But all the other Lord of the Rings got peanuts. They all made like their like seven two fifty k one seventy five k. Yeah, and Peter Jackson took the two fifty million for himself. If I was Peter Jackson, I would have I would have given the actors at least like four hundred k of my money. Not a million. A million's a little too much. But I would have given them at least four hundred k. Okay, take four hundred k of my money. Give it to the eight eight stars. Peter Jackson could have done that. It only would have cost him four million dollars of his money because Peter's greedy. I want every cent of this. You know what I'm saying? He took the whole thing for himself, obviously, because he's greedy, obviously. But I heard the Lord of the Rings actors got their one mil bonus. If they did, then they were well taken care of, obviously. As one mil dollar, one million dollars is a pretty nice salary, a pretty nice paycheck. I heard that's a rumor. I heard they got one mil bonuses. So if the movie is successful, you get your one mil bonus. I heard they got that. I don't know if 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 they did or not. It's a rumor. You know what I'm saying? Just like I heard there's a rumor Nick Cannon reason took like seventy percent of his money, his two for the minute, and he put it towards special effects. He gave all the main special effects guys a million dollars of his salary. He bought them bikes. That's a rumor. Chances are that's not true. Chances are Keanu at least took the whole two for the million dollars for himself because he's greedy, obviously. And so I would have taken the whole two for the million for myself too, obviously. But if Carrie Ann Moss made like a million dollars, I'm okay, give four million dollars of my money to Carrie Ann Moss. The way she has it, and that's she, the way she walks with a nice paycheck. A nice two million dollar check in her bank. That's the way she's well taken care of. I would have done that, obviously. I wouldn't give her 10 7. No, that's crazy. I would have given her at least four million dollars of my money. That way she, 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 that way she walks away with a nice two million dollars in cash, obviously. Because I'm very generous. I'm greedy, but I'm generous. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not like Keanu Reeves and fucking um, Peter Jackson who are greedy pigs who just t- took the whole thing for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna go upstairs and get my coffee. I'm gonna talk uh, more about the Zanus topic. Give me a sec here.
Sorry about that, guys. Sorry for the wait. Yeah, man. That's why I'm so excited. I'm more excited for Zayn's or Matrix. I'm excited for both, but I'm more. I'm a little bit more excited for Zayn's because Zayn's is my like baby, man. Zayn's is my like is a is a, is, a, is, a, is a movie based off my novel. And it's a fantasy world, and you're looking at Eretan and all of them are devils, man. Even though the agents are scary, they're not as scary as Eretan and all those, de those demons. You're looking at walking, you're looking at AI demons, man. You know how AI, you know when you watch, no one, you know how AI, they look like real humans? Yeah, Eretan and them will look so real, you're looking at like AI beings. You know how Thanos look like, a, like look pretty real? Yeah, think of something more real than that. They're like AI, like real demonic beings, man. Something scary. They're gonna f make you, they're gonna make you feel for me and the men. Yeah, that's why Peter Jackson and Milgus are gonna want to get their hands on my story so bad. Obviously, yeah. Obviously. So let's talk contract. So Peter Jackson, I want to pay him his eighty five million dollars for his salary and his bonuses. A ten mil signing bonus for pre production. So we'll do for three years of pre production. Peter Jackson gets his ten million dollars. And then for for, 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 for for production, he gets his $65 million. A lot of money for him. And he gets his $10 million post rolling bonus. So after filming ends, two, uh, but we, two weeks later, he gets his $10 million bonus. And I take him and his immediate family on a two-week vacation with my seven team, as well as go to the Toro. And the milk, and I'll give him 0.6% of, of, the, of, the, of the pie. 0%, which is a good probably $350 million in royalties for Peter Jackson. Perhaps $400 million. Peter Jackson signed like his five hundred million, four hundred fifty million dollar deal. It's a good deal for him if he's greedy. And, but because Peter Jackson's a greedy pig, he might, he might, he'd be like, I haven't screwed the zero points. Just give me a flat like seven hundred million dollars off your off the profits. I'm like Peter, I'm not going to pay you seven hundred dollars. You ripped me off. You're not worth that, man. Because he's greedy, he might try and push for seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred million, even a billion dollar like contract for the for the for the royalties. I'm like Peter, I'm not going to pay you a billion dollars. You're fucking greedy. You're getting greedy. I, you're greedy too. You know what I'm saying? Because he's greedy, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Because he saw my bills. You know, you're going to make your fucking tens of billions. You're giving me peanuts. I'm like, yeah, and the peanuts I'm paying you is money that you don't even make in Hollywood, Peter. You're being greedy. I'm not going to pay you a billion dollars. You're fucking crazy, man. Would you pay me a billion dollars, Peter? No, I'm not pay you like your $25 million. Yes. I wouldn't even give you a piece of my money yet. I'm giving you a nice $350 million of my royalties. And you, excluding your $100 million contract for your salary and bonus. Okay, right, what about a higher salary? What about two hundred million? I'm like, no, Peter. Eighty-five million dollars is good enough. You don't make this in Hollywood. James Cameron doesn't even make eighty-five million dollars in Hollywood. He probably makes like fifty, forty million for his base salary, thirty million for his base salary. James Cameron, and he negotiates for maybe a good sixty million dollars in royalties. James Cameron, a hundred million dollars royalties. I'm I'm paying you a hundred million dollars in salary and bonuses. That does not include your your royalty check. I get you get you sign a rich deal, Peter. You're gonna walk away with I don't know two sixty two seven million dollars in your bank after taxes. Yeah, it's a lot of money, Ivan, but it's nothing given how much you read you're making. Yes, Peter, stop thinking about the bigger picture, man. Stop thinking about the amount of money me and Vijay are making and just know that I paid you a lot of money. If you think, yeah, if you think about the amount of money me and Vijay are going to make, it will feel very small. You'll feel humiliated and small, obviously, but just know that the contract I'm offering you is a fat contract. You know what I'm saying? Ivan, what about the merch? Are you going to give Peter 0.6% of that? I'm like, no, I'm not giving Peter 0.6% of the merch. You know what I'm saying? He's not getting squaw off the merch as he's what? He's my fucking director. He's not my actor. He's not he's not featured on my I could give Peter maybe a small maybe zero point I don't know. I can give him maybe a small maybe zero point zero five percent of the merch if you want. He makes a nice like twenty million dollars in rollies or something for the merch. I'm, but, but I'm not doing that, man. He's not he's not he's not getting a shit off the merch. Alright, what about your games? Are you gonna give me a nice piece of promise for that? I'm like, no Peter, I'm not giving you a piece of promise for the games. You're not worth it, man. Why would I give you a piece of profit for the games? You're not contributing to the game at all. I'm not going to give you a piece of profit for the games. You only get a piece of profit for the movie, and that's it. You're not getting squaw off the games. I'm there. You're not getting a dime off the games. And for the games, 0.6% for my games, Peter Jackson will only make like, you only make like $10 million or something like that. Like $15 million. $20 million. $25 million. Because my games are not going to do as much as my movies. I'm not giving Peter Squaw off the games. He's not worth it, man. Don't let him do it like that. I'm saying. Yeah, and then Mel, and he gets his two million re-release and his two thousand three hundred gas of commercial money. And then Mel Gibson, I'll pay him fifty six million to direct my movie, and he'll get his zero point five percent, which is a good I don't know. 
to like seventy million dollars in royalties for Mel Gibson. So Mel Gibson signed like his three like fifty million dollar deal around there. Three sixty million dollar deal was Peter Jackson signed like his four hundred, four fifty million dollar, five hundred million dollar deal. For chances are Peter will make about three fifty million in royalties for my movie. Three hundred and fifty million dollars he'll make. Get a paycheck from him. Walk away, he's gonna be a couple hundred million dollars, almost three hundred million dollars richer. Because he's greedy and he knows the amount of money I'm gonna make is is the amount of money he's making around you future making his chump change, he wants a nice piece of that pie. Ivan, I want a nice yo, know, Ivan, screw the, his agent will be like, Ivan, what about a billion dollars? What about seven hundred million dollars for the merch? Peter might tell me, oh, Ivan, screw the percentage, you'll just give me a flat give me a flat a flat a flat amount off your royalties. Give me a nice six hundred million dollars off your royalties, Ivan. I'm like, no, Peter. My deal is zero point six percent of the profits. That's my deal. Zero point six percent of the film of, of Sky Source film profits. So the seventy two percent that me and VJ make, you get zero point six percent of that. If I make fifty five billion dollars off Zanus, you know what I'm saying Peter gets his zero, takes home zero point six percent of that. He'll make his like three hundred forty three fifty million dollars in royalties. Because he knows the amount of money me and VJ make is so much money, he wants a nice like billion dollars of that because he's greedy. Obviously, I'm like Peter. I'm not gonna give you. I'm not gonna give you what a billion dollars of my money. You're fucking crazy. You wouldn't give me a billion dollars of my money. What do you think I'm gonna give you a billion dollars of my money? No, I mean, you're right. I'm saying, oh, I mean, it's a deal. I'm just being an asshole. Yeah, you're being you're, you're paying me you're paying more than what even Hollywood will ever pay me. This is like the biggest contract ever. Yeah, it's like the biggest contract ever for a director. You signed like your four fifty million dollar deal. It's a massive contract, obviously. You just stop thinking about the bigger picture, Peter, and let go of your greed, man. Yeah, but Ivan, you're greedy too. I'm like, yes, no, Peter, I'm not like you, man. Yeah, I'm greedy, but I'm generous. I'm giving you a nice three fifty million dollars of my royalties. I'm paying you one. I'm taking. I'm taking eighty five million dollars out of my pocket to pay your salary. I'm giving you all these perks. Have you stay at Sweets for one year? You know what I'm saying? Your luxury buffet. I'm giving you all these nice fucking perks. But your limo driver. Yeah. Would you do that for me, Ivan? I wouldn't do that for you. I would probably have you stay in a shitty hotel. Yeah. So I can save more money for myself. Yeah. I'm giving you all these nice perks, as well as I'm. I'm t I took eighty five million dollars. Nice to take eighty five million dollars out of my out of my pocket to pay you your what? To pay you your 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 your, your, your rich salary and the bonuses. I'm giving you zero point six percent of the profits. Same goes for Mel. If he's agree, I'm like Mel. I'm giving you a good enough deal. If you don't like it, you're more than welcome to open Hollywood. So I'm saying, I'm my cab here. 